So my name is Thomas Bevitt. Uh, I'm a translator, uh, a bard, um, and I teach uh, English um, here in Russia, and I'm from Scotland. So I first came to Russia um, around seven years ago. Um, I was invited to perform at a festival in Moscow, Urujai Festival, a Harvest Festival, and this was my first ever experience of Russia. And uh, I was very excited and I wanted to come back mm, as soon as I could. So um, this um, festival was very successful in Moscow and um, Boris Petrov from Yekaterinburg, who is the president of the Ural Scottish Society, wanted to invite me to play at his uh, Ural Scottish festival here. So uh, this was how I came to Yekaterinburg the first time. Uh, I just flew from Moscow for one night and performed in the, um, uh, in the Philharmonia. And, uh, and I have been coming back to Yekaterinburg every year uh, since, every year in January. So the, the, the main difference between uh, the audiences here in Russia and, and at home in Scotland, I find that Russian audiences are very focused, uh, and I think this is true um, generally, that Russians really respect uh, art and culture. And so if they have made the effort to come to a concert or a festival, they're going to really pay attention and really try to uh, understand the, what's going on. Over the years I was translating Vysotsky, but very slowly and taking my time and not trying to run before I could walk, as we say in English. I suppose my favourite uh, text of Vysotsky would be Akhota Novolkov. Um, it's so strong and so uh, angry and uh, direct um, and, uh, and it touches on some deep themes that are interesting for everyone. With all the strength that bursts from our sinews It's the same old story again When you see them there's something within you Makes you cluster like sheep to a pen from the forest, the guns start to rumble From bushes, oh, where hunters lie low Close scratch ice as wolves rush and tumble a Living targets with nowhere to go Who'll come a-hunting for the wolf? Who'll come a-hunting? Who'll shoot and be a man? Some cub or suckling dam As the beaters wave, the slavering hounds confront them Blood on the snow and rows of fluttering scarlet flags So I have been working at the Russian Academy of Sciences uh, since the end of January. Uh, I'm working mm, well, I think my job title is something like a senior researcher, but really I'm, uh, I'm working with the PhD students, with the um, aspiranti, as you call them, um, to, because they have to publish uh, scientific papers in the English language. And I'm a very experienced uh, editor of uh, academic texts and also a translator. So I'm helping them with their, mainly with their English language, how to, how to write a good scientific paper. Um, that's the essence of my work. I think that there's a lot of uh, ac uh, intellectual and creative freedom in the Russian uh, education system. I think that's good. And I'm very impressed by the quality of the, uh, of the students that I'm working with. I think they're very... Uh, I, I, I was ready to find that there was a, a low level uh, here in Russia, but I'm very impressed by the level, especially because they are able to work both in Russian and in English. So my uh, father and my two sons will be coming from Scotland uh, to uh, Yekaterinburg this July, and uh, there are some things which I'm very much looking forward to showing them. One is to show them uh, the Russian uh, Academy of Science and the laboratories there, um, because maybe these are not super modern <coughs> facilities, but um, I'm, very, uh, I'm very impressed by the enthusiasm um, of, the, of the researchers there, and they're, very, uh, they're working in some interesting areas, and they're very excited uh, to explain the meaning of their work, and I know that my family will be very pleased and interested. Um, I also want to take uh, my family to 
um, experience uh, the Russian village. I also want to take them to see really the, the beautiful um, uh, nature here in the Urals. So I have already been on an excursion to Alie uh, Park Alieni Ruchi. And um, this was for me one of the most beautiful um, excursions in nature that I have ever uh, experienced. Very, very clean air and, and beautiful, mm, beautiful scenery. And, um, and also I think it will be very necessary to take them to see the Russian ballet. Um, I think the standard uh, in Russia is obviously much higher than uh, elsewhere in Europe. And I think in Yekaterinburg, uh, especially, OK, it's maybe not the Balshoi Theater, but it's really very high standard. Uh, and uh, I think they will be very excited. I very much like um, a sailed Podshaboy, pod pod um, herring under beetroot. Uh, this is like just uh, such an interesting uh, combination of uh, textures and flavors. Um, I eat pelmeni a lot, um, maybe too much, it's, it's very convenient. I, I like the word zamechatilna, uh, zamechatilna, mm -hmm. which to me is something like out of a dream. It's amazing. It's like something out of a dream. Yes. Ah, repetirovitz. Yes. Repetirovitz. That's a good word as well. Um, because it, it describes exactly what, what you do. And I think, ah, and also this Russian phrase, что um, uh, I like the way that uh, Russians are quite existential. They're always like, как будет что And, um, you know, this answer to что um, uh, if, if you are musicians, the answer to Stodielatz is Repetirovitz. <laughs> well, I can tell uh, about my first experience at the public banya here in Ekaterinburg. Um, I went with uh, my, my director, but uh, she's a female, so she went to the different part. And um, she just said to some guy who was standing there with a towel, uh, a, a visitor to the banya. Can, can you take my foreign friend to the to the banya? So, so I went, and uh, for me, it's just uh, such a different experience. Like um, we, I just didn't understand. There were so many uh, different uh, small uh, rituals which I didn't know what they were, and um, I just had to ask this uh, stranger, "Stodielat?" You know, "Kakbuit." <laughs> And um, for me, this was just uh, an extraordinary culture, cultural experience. I think there is so much um, th there is so much in Banya, in Russian Banya, um, that we just don't understand, uh, we Westerners. And I think maybe after I have been in Russia for some years, maybe I will start to understand some of these mysteries. <laughs> Well, uh, the biggest difference for me um, between Russians and, uh, and let's say British. In Britain, especially in England, um, we tend to smile a lot, you know, um, but um, we don't necessarily, m m the person that we are smiling at, we're not necessarily very uh, friendly towards them, but we, uh, and we also say sorry a lot. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And here, um, Russians very rarely smile and they never say sorry and uh, it's been very good for me to live here because I have cured myself of the habit of saying sorry I never say sorry anymore and I think I never will here a smile is uh, much more natural and if somebody smiles at you then they really are friendly but you shouldn't expect somebody to be friendly for no reason because they won't be
Зачем нам творить себе разных кумиров? Кого из нас это могло бы спасти? Тела, чьи угодны создателю мира, Дорогу любви кто к вершине мастил. Когда пролетают и тысячелетия, Чьи подвиги сердце извечно хранит, того, кто и в смуту, и в лихолетия За веру и правду стоял, как гранит. О, нет, убитый не должен дракон Разлетиться, как тысяча птиц. Стой, стой, с ним будь осторожен, Как им обернется из множества лиц. Но в мире спасенном короткая память Присуша беспечной глюмливой толпе, Куда и зачем гордо нес свое знамя Герой, что когда-то исчез в темноте. И в прошлом, и в нынешнем бурном столетии На перстки летают под носом зевак, Трактовка истории, правда, бессмертная, Как шарик катается в ловких руках. О, нет, убитый не должен дракон Разлетиться, как тысяча птиц. Стой, стой, с ним будь осторожен, Как им обернется из множества лиц. Героя судьба быть завидна не может, Сражен ли ударом лихого меча, Или под дух мылки царя и вельможей На плахе казнен был рукой палача. И вновь, как и прежде, звучит вражье слово, Впадают в нас реки из грязи и лжи. Георгий, вернись, ты так нужен нам снова, Дракон тобой пит и внезапно ожил. О, нет, убитый не должен, Дракон разлетится, как тысяча птиц. Стой, стой, с ним будь осторожен, Как им обернется из множества лиц, скажем, Убитый не должен Так он разлетится Как тысяча птиц Стой, стой С ним будь осторожен Как им обернется Из множества лиц